to start this episode, this is a bit of a weird thing, I'm going to show an encounter that we didn't actually run into along the way in. This is a clear gelatin. Also, Diaz and Chisato are in the party. Notice, they're not really hurting it. It can also poison. Now they're hurting it, now that it's stunned. Let's, uh... Well... Let's... Spectacle it. It has a lot of health. No MP. Strong against earth. Water. Fire. Wind. Light. Dark. So basically, it's strong against everything. It is a really rare encounter. This will actually take probably a little while. It has incredibly high defenses, as you could imagine, by them not being able to hurt it. There's really no reason for Quad to not be doing this, though. He has a higher chance of getting below the belts this way. But, you know. I actually think this deals earth damage. That would be why he's not using it. Okay. I'm kind of an idiot. Um... But, as we beat away at this thing, I realize this is going to be a decent chunk of this episode. Um... Aquaberry. Well, antidote, I suppose. That way, Rena doesn't waste more time using Condition Cure. Ah, oh, good lord. This thing poisons a lot. Rena, really? Both Diaz and Claude needed health. Uh, this is why I don't like the AI healing. But honestly, we're probably getting more damage out with them doing that. I'll go back to Rena. Mostly because I'll be aqua burying them. Which, if I would have went through that smartly, wouldn't have taken nearly as long. I don't think I need to exact- no, oh, I should cure all. Huh, th this encounter is pretty long. I might actually- you might not even be hearing me now, I might just speed this up. I guess that isn't a terrible idea if I can figure out how to speed up things. I'm totally not still learning my editing program now. Ugh, AI hates the MP. And right there! That is something these can do. They can split. It's at about 10,000 health now. It's still, you know... It's still it. But it basically just cut its health in half to create two. Show. They have independent health bars, which just kind of makes it annoying. Um, there goes one dead. Now they need to do is finish off the other. <laughs> D Dia Dia's 
<laughs> Diaz, what are you doing? What? Diaz! What are you. D Diaz? There you go, buddy. He, uh. He was. He got a bit confused there. <laughs> um. As you can tell, this is a really long encounter. I am kind of out of things to talk about while doing this. Well, I suppose I, sh I could address one thing. The video looks different, and it did in the last episode too. I... I need to poison again. I changed how I'm recording this to hopefully make the picture better, even though everything is smaller. Because everything looked fine on my end, but the moment I threw it onto YouTube, it looked horrible. There we go. 32,500 experience. These are experience fights. You'll generally always gain a level if you can win. Yeah, I'm on my way back out of the Field of Love. I plan on just meeting you guys at Centropolis. So, uh, I actually start the episode there. Hello everybody and welcome back. To let's play Star Ocean, the second story. Right here, we have made it back to Centropolis! Where we will now come talk to Mayor Nall. Which I believe was his name. It's been so long, I don't remember. I just remember he was on the top floor. Top floor. Here we go. Ah, now we chalk to him. Chalk. Yes, chalk to him. Talk to him. Uh, uh, sorry, he has to walk out from behind his desk first. Well, it would appear you have obtained the power of all the four fields. Yep, that we have. Yes, Mayor. But I have to say, I don't particularly feel any stronger. That isn't the point of them. Oh, you are? Noticeably stronger, in fact. All of you. I doubt there is a single Nidian out there who could be a match for you at this point. No disagreement here. We've grown stronger than ever before. Yeah, no, you are a Nidian. <laughs> um. Oh, I wonder who that is. Mayor Null, the Defense Force has completed deployment to Lakwa. Mariana. Good, because Claude's team has just finished their expedition to the Four Fields. In that case, we appear to be ready for the next step. The assault on their home base in Fino shall begin tomorrow at noon. Cool. Yes, sir. Ah, come to think of it, I still need to introduce all of you. This is Mariana. Captain of the Need Defense Force. That's rather nice information to have. Good to meet all of you. You too. Nice Do you have to question why this is Claude's expedition, not Rena's? Well, if you'll excuse me. Well, that was a thing. Noon tomorrow. Time. We will stage an invasion of the enemy stronghold in Fino. The fate of the universe is quite literally riding on the outcome of this battle, and you will be an indispensable part. Cool. Tomorrow? Why so soon? Because we need to strike fast. I know things appear to be going quickly, but the longer we wait, the more of a disadvantage we'll find ourselves in. We have to attack before the ten wise men complete their preparations. Or else we have no chance whatsoever. All right, I they probably already completed them. Sorry, but can I ask a question? Yes. I'd like to contact my wife on Expel while we still have time. She gets worried easily when I'm not home. About that. The four who know what happened. Is that a no? 
No. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you something. Expel, you see, doesn't exist in this universe any longer. Expel doesn't exist anymore? What the hell does that mean? Expel is no more. It vanished without a trace, following the collision with energy need. So, Nine's gone. I'm sorry to say this, but yes. This can't be. Why didn't you tell us earlier, Nal? Mom, and everyone. However, there is still hope. Hope? Like what? I thought you said Expel was gone. There might be a way to bring Expel back. How can we do that? We could use a space-time displacement shield to transport Expel from the moment before it vanished into present time. You can do that? Theoretically speaking, yes. But the ten wise men need to be out of the picture first. What do you mean? We are going to need an enormous displacement shield to cover the entirety of Expel. In order to create it, we'll need to use all the energy available from all the cities on energy need at once. Unfortunately, right now we are short one city. Phenol, the Ten Wise Men's stronghold. Yup. So, if we can defeat the Ten Wise Men and get Phenol back under our control, you can bring back Expel if we do that? That's right. Well, great. I'm raring to go more than ever now. We can't afford to lose this battle, no matter what. I want you all to get a good night's sleep. What you accomplish tomorrow will decide the fate of not just Expel, but that of the entire universe. Sorry, I just had to be quiet through that. It just felt wrong talking over that scene. The Need Defense Force is preparing for battle in Lakwa even as we speak. We are going to rendezvous with them in Lakwa right now. Cool. All right. Teleportation! Well, the hour's finally come. Perhaps this is the best chance we have. We've been living under a shell all this time. I've had enough of it. Yeah, besides, none of this would have happened if it weren't for us Nidians in the first place. Teleportation. We have to say, Chisato, try not to be so hard on yourself. Ah, this music. We have not heard this since I think Hurley on the uh, second continent. How long it has been. Everyone here? Then let's go. Follow me if you would. Well, to be fair, I only know that, like, four, th four of us are here. But it's enough. We can make a party of what we got. Some broken tubes. The Ten Wise Men's stronghold in Phenol is protected by an energy field that prevents access by Sinar. The transporter in there won't be available to us either, unfortunately. The people of Fino destroyed it themselves, fearing it would be used by the Ten Wise Men. So how will we get to there? Yeah, how, how will we get in there? Scouts from the Need Defense Force have discovered that the energy field extends to an ocean depth of only a hundred meters. The ocean around the area is much deeper than that. So an underwater route is a potential method of So entry. in other words, submarines. How are we going to do that? That's the reason we're in Lakwa. 
We're going to use a harush to dive right into the belly of the beast. A, a living submarine. It is a symbological creature, like the Synod. You can ride the harush deep underwater without drowning. Looks oh so nice. Is this the Harash? Yes, a symbological creature designed for deep sea exploration. It might look a little intimidating, but it's quite tame, I assure you. Yeah, we were told that with Synards too. Seems like everyone's here. Well then, let's get on the Harush and head for Phenal. I just love the jumping. <laughs> They're so stiff while they do it. And we all jump at once, because we're not, you know, we're, we're able to phase inside of each other, so I mean, it's all cool. We'll be in the heart of enemy territory soon. Brace yourselves for anything, people. And I know this is a little short, but I'm going to end this episode off here. I thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time for what might be the end. See you all then.